but it's it's still not too bad. And even the Zaku cannons, they're helpless when you get close. Okay. So here we go. First thing I want to do. Well, no. Do this. I'm going to skip down to this or up to the other one. <laughs> I need a subflight system here. I need to make sure it's a mid-air one. There you go. Now we're good. We're going to deploy this. We I bought a gallop. So I now have two... Actually, probably shouldn't have deployed it there, but that's okay. It's all good. A gallop to go with our mini tray. They complement each other pretty well. And now we're ready to start. Okay. This is for we four pillboxes. If we can do it in four turns, we trigger the challenge. Which is good. I want to trigger the challenge. I don't remember what we get, but I always want to trigger the challenges. It's extra money, you know? Uh, we're, this is a mid-battle save, so... Like I said, I try to do one save when the second part starts. And then, because if we lose here or we give up, it starts us back at the first part in space. So now I want to... Look at my team real quick. That's the powerful team. Yes. So they're going to be going on their own. These guys... can attack from a distance, are going to be heading to the right with my other group. So let's see how this plays out. I get to see Karen in action with her Gundam ground type. This is a long range rifle. Basically an artillery rifle. Yeah, I figured it probably wasn't going to hit, but it was worth taking a pot shot. It's a free pot shot, you know? Oh, I didn't, I didn't remember. I should have moved the truck up first. The truck would have helped with that. Yeah. We're gonna stick to the trees where we have the extra cover. Oh, he actually can't attack from there. Oop, sorry. Now he could hit with the missile launcher. Yeah, that does have a better chance of hitting. We'll go with it. We'll show a different weapon for Terry here. Terry's one of my favorite pilots from the original show. He's the one that didn't, uh, I mean, he had drama, and he did act stupid because of it. But it happened once, and then that was it, and after that, he was just a really good pilot. He just fought hard with everyone else, you know? Him and Karen, I think, are my favorite, too. And we got some missiles. They're anti-ground, but we're Gundam, so we can tank it pretty well. Whereas, oh, you know what it is? They're the Xeon ones, so it's, yeah, they're wired missiles, not the, not the anti-ground. So that's good then. That's why I didn't do a lot of damage. That's fine. I'm not going to complain. Now we can keep our mini tray here in the grass. It can't reach anything. What I'm going to do, I have a specially formed group for this. So I'm going to dispatch our Gundam. It's a pixie model, so we can't do much actually from there. That was kind of a mistake. But it's okay, and we're going to dispatch the core booster, because it's not affected by terrain. It still can't reach anything. <laughs> there you go. Could have uh, could have held off a little bit there. There we go. Now the pillboxes don't strike back. Also get, that's the interceptor type, so it only has the Gatling gun. And we're going to dispatch you... Our GM cannon. I wanted to keep behind cover, but he can't get very far without exposing himself. But that's okay, I guess. Use your 240 millimeter shoulder cannon, and yeah, take out. Let's see if we can take out this pillbox before we start taking hits. There you go. Pillbox only needs one more hit. And that's a GM early type. He's not going to be able to do much, so we'll send him out. Oops, my bad. Pressing the wrong buttons here. And we're, we'll use the assault type gun tank to finish this off. I want to use something that doesn't cost too much. Yeah, the flamethrower actually doesn't cost too much. You can't watch it, unfortunately, because the pillbox doesn't care. But, but one pillbox down, and it's still the first turn. So that's a pretty good start. Oh, yeah, he can go again. 
Alright, I guess we're gonna have to send them out. I kinda wanted them to go... Yeah, that'll be fine. And he'll still be in leader support here. It's the Arm Bop Gun. I don't even remember that one. Arm Bop Gun. Yeah, they're basically the, the quad cannons. That's the Xeon gunship heli going down. The helicopter. What I kind of wanted to do, that's another unit for him, which is good. He's doing good. Um, I kind of want to move him back. Can he still reach? Yep, yeah, he can reach a bunch of guys. Alright. Oh, he can reach the other pillbox. Well, hell, that's the best thing to do with your cannons. There you go. Excellent start, guys. Excellent. Oh, that almost killed it, too. That's that's great. I was hoping to keep them in cover, but that's fine. It's fine. Everything's good. Oop. A little too far for a gallop. Now we're going to gallop can attack. That's even better. Take our first pot shot, gallop. Yeah, I stick to the trees as much as I can. Until we, uh... Except for certain units, like it. Gundam doesn't care. Uh, yeah, none of these are gonna, like, kill it in one shot, so I'm gonna say just do some damage to our pillbox here. There you go. It actually killed it. So we're down two pillboxes, and it's still the first turn. We're doing damn good. So that's the G3. We've been upgraded from the RX-78-2 to the RX-78-3. Very useful unit. I believe you guys saw it in action last time. Okay. And, 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 and see the core booster here has the highest mobility so he'll go out and yeah let's we'll see the action this core booster I'm planning on making the double Zeta core fighter in hopes of eventually turning that into the double Zeta but that's gonna take time and that's way down the road so we got two of our core boosters in action here we got an interceptor type we got the original the stand-ins for the G fighter system but they're, they're highly mobile, and this one actually has a couple different attacks, so the core booster is actually very useful in battle. Don't underestimate that. Okay, so now I think we've softened them up enough. I was hoping the beam rifle was going to hit, because without it, we, uh, there's not a whole lot of point in that. Can the GM reach? GM can't. Alright. So we'll have you come in. You should be able to hit it from here with the beam javelin. I haven't used the beam javelin too much, so let's put it to work. There you go. I like the beam javelin. I was a little disappointed that the regular Gundam didn't have it, but now that I know what the G3 does, I'm okay with it. I'm cool. Everything's covered. Okay. Sorty. Who are we going to send out? We're going to send out the GM because he has the next to shortest range. Yeah, go up there. And the gun tank will send out last. Oops. I keep hitting the wrong button, guys. Excuse me. Okay. Send out the gun cannon. He's the original and the leader of the group. And the gun tank, which should be able to hit something. Alright, hit the pillbox. Yeah, I'm going to turn my GM cannon into the heavy type. Or the gun cannon into the heavy type gun cannon. And the regular gun tank is going to be the gun tank 2. That's my plans for this. So what are you going to do? I kind of don't want you to get too far away. Where's his train? Up to here, up to here. Shoot a bazooka at that thing. See if he'll hit it. You can take a wired missile shot. Yeah, the G3 is also the design that can be developed eventually into an Alex, which is from War in the Pocket. Oh, did we kill it? Nope. But hey, we just about did. Definitely softened him up. So, uh, yeah. And he missed with the wired missiles, which is pretty good. The wired ones are much more accurate, so the fact that they missed is good. This is also a pretty fun fight to bring heli your own you know, Federation helicopters to, so you can get chopper versus chopper. Uh, originally I was going to go with something like that, but I didn't, because 
And, and yeah, I went with all Federation. That's the big thing. Usually I go, and the one that didn't move was, uh, I'm going to say Evade. I don't want to waste too much ammo on my Gundam. It's already done a lot of work. And just evade those shots because they're probably not going to hit anyway. Okay. And yeah, taking four of them down before the four turns should be easy. Two of them are down already. And those two are already heavily damaged. Counter beam spray. Counter support. Oh, should we do a triple? You know what? Go for the triple. They're probably not going to hit. So, every chance we get is good. So this is an interesting team up. You've got the original GM, the gun cannon and the gun tank. So Gundam Light with the original Gundam counterparts. We'll make this a big artillery strike. I was going to bring the mass production gun cannon too, but then I was like, you know, screw it, I'll just use the regular gun cannon. We can use the gun cannon too later if you so choose. Actually, I might still turn, uh, instead of doing the gun cannon heavy type, I might turn gun cannon to gun cannon too. Because that was a problem I had with uh, these units originally. I want to give these prototype units a better shot, so like, can the GM early type get there? Yeah, he's got it. Go GM early type, and you can get support too. Where's from our buddy? Is it going to hit? Well, let's go for it and see. The assault gun tank is really heavy duty, so it should be particularly useful for this. I've been holding off on using the assault type, even though it's a much better unit than really any other gun cannon or gun tank, but it doesn't turn into any... It doesn't turn into the gun tank too. So, and I've already unlocked the mass production and the original gun tanks. And so it doesn't make much sense development wise to bring it along. There's not a whole lot I can do with it. I actually meant to use them, but that's fine. The pixie, which is also here, can also be useful for that. Alright, so we're I'm gonna update his defense. Because he is not exactly heavy duty. Okay? And he's going to upgrade his energy and power, so that's where I'm going to go with these guys. Now, this guy, I can't quite get into melee range. Is he going to be in yeah, machine gun range? Could do that. You know what? Go for that. If you finish that off, you'll get a vigor bonus, and we can still use you. Okay. Oh, he doesn't have enough vigor to do his aura attack. Alright. So we'll move in with something else. How about you? Move in with you and we'll do a... Oh, we can't because he's not a leader. That's right, he's just a master. Alright, so should we still go for it or should I move him out a little further? Because if I go a little further... Or should I... Who's the leader of this? You're the leader, the GM cannon. You can get it. Yeah, this is much better. Use your shoulder cannon. Oh, you can't do a double team with him? Alright. Well, go for it then. Just use the shoulder cannon. See what you can do with it. I actually should have let the GM cannon get the experience, but oh well. The pixie needs it too, so... That should, it might be enough for the Pixie to finish off. I'm not actually 100% positive on that. <laughs> and the Interceptor I'd like to develop into a Jet Core. I didn't realize I hadn't unlocked the Jet Core booster yet. I thought I did, but uh, it's not on the production list. So, that's what I'll be doing with that. And, yeah, that wasn't enough for him. Oh. Uh, I kind of want him to be, like, further up. But I don't want him to be... Oh, I don't know what to do with you. I like to get the maximum. But I want you to be in the leader range. Alright, go here. Let's, we'll let you guys see the flamethrower attack, because that's a cool animation. And he'll be in range of pretty much everything from here. I don't like having him at the front, but... 
he'll be able to take some of the punishment. So it's all good. That finishes off that one, get some experience for our gun tank, which is of course much needed. And we're gonna move in, can I get close enough to him? No. Alright. So you're gonna come up here and be like the frontline defense for this stuff. I probably should have shown that. I don't think I've shown this guy in action yet, but that's fine. He should be fine up there. Okay. Here's the real test. See how our GM really type fares against Norris. Yeah, the GM early type really isn't a great unit, but it can be developed into some great units, so it's worth getting on, you know? Ouch. Actually, that's not too bad, considering it was a bazooka. He took that very well. Of course, our GM has some experience already, so he's already pretty tough as GMs go. We're just gonna move you right in here and do a melee. So that is your specialty, Mr. Pixie. I didn't actually check to see if the pilot was the best choice for it. Well, no, he, he's fine. That guy, he's one of the main characters from G-Gen, so... Yeah, think good damage. Considering that we're fighting a commander-type pilot by Norris, I'd say we're doing pretty good. Oh yeah, very good. It hit, but it's nothing. Gundam can take that. The Pixie. Actually, I just thought of this now, but we got another Gundam just sitting here. <laughs> Beam rifle that guy. Sorry, Norris, but two on one Gundam attack? You never stood a chance, buddy. I didn't think about it. I should have checked if someone else was in range, but that's fine. Destroy that fourth pillbox and we'll trigger the. Um, actually, should just move my gun tank up and just hit it. Yeah, Norris is uh, not confident anymore, but you haven't seen the last of him. Nice level up for my. for Goat! Goat Logan! And uh, yeah, we'll move gun tank up. He's gonna take out the. Oh, we moved him up too far. Here you go. You can destroy the pillbox. That's good experience for the gun tank. The regular gun tank's not going to get a lot of experience because it's better than the mass production model, but not by much. And that was during the beginning of the second turn. So definitely bonus for us. Triggering the next batch. Oh, we haven't even moved those guys yet. I totally forgot about them. No big. I mean, I'd like to work towards unlocking them, but I'm not too worried because... We can turn the Pixie very easily into a GM or Gundam ground type, so I'll unlock it one way or another. Oh, I haven't moved the mini tray either. I should move that up. Get it going. And yeah, there goes Shiro for us. It's the commander! I don't think the three of them actually have a cutscene. I tried to trigger it once and it didn't happen. So I'm assuming they don't have one. They do have one in the next mission. The next stage. But not in this one, unfortunately. And there's also something else triggering. They kind of combined, I think, a couple... Yeah, they definitely combined a couple different episodes into this mission, which is fine. I don't mind them making adjustments. It's a video game, after all, and it's nice that it retells the story, but it doesn't have to be 100% faithful. You can definitely make some alterations for the sake of it being a video game. And they've done it before in other games, so... Now we got Dops. And, of course, the Asperus. Giant mobile armor with a big-ass cannon. And, uh, yeah, that's going to be a tough unit to take out. We are going to have to do it. But I'm not too worried. I've got two teams of Federation mobile suits, so... And two Gundams. 
including the three Gundam ground types that are already here. I think we're in very good shape. And these are fun missions to play with lesser advanced units. Like my first time playing through this, I had tanks, I had helicopters, and core fighters and stuff, and that, that was a lot of fun. You know, seeing all the retro tech fighting each other. But, and I still, I still completed bonus objectives and everything. Jasperus went down and all that. But it's also kind of nice to come in and have some stronger forces for this. And it's all Federation. You know, proper-like. And they've got fucking Magellan tanks like that matters. I'll sell them. 